Because the barrels are lined with chrome. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. Really fast process. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All of our M4, M16 barrels, a lot of our commercial AR barrels, they go through this process. Now we do have the option to run those same barrels on the commercial line and hammer forge them as well. So when I first started here back in the 2000s, we were building approximately 11,000 M16, M4 a month. Well, here it looks like a 240 barrel. Definitely a 240. Yeah, that's what it looks like going in before the hammer forge operation. Gotcha. So you can also see there's a lot of different prep work that has to be done because obviously you saw the blanks over there. Yeah. The drill and reed process, the coning process does not do all this stuff. So the cone, a little prep work that has to be done. This diameter has to be very precise for the hammer forging operation. Once it's done, it comes out like this. So it comes out longer yeah. Yeah. And, and thinner. Yeah. So, and you're just ramming it through a smaller hole. So what you're doing yeah. on the hammer forge is a little bit different than the button broach process. So you have here this piece and the roller. Yeah. The roller is going to roll around this piece here. And you're going to have these hammer coming in contact with this piece here against the roller and it's basically going to be hammering it and so what you're doing is you're displacing material and it's going to get longer yeah, okay so you'll have the mandrel will be in there right there's a rod at the same time as pushing that have another rod yep. and as it's beating on it it's slowly Pushing it in. Pushing it through. Yep. So that way as it goes through, it's just beating the crap out. Yeah, yeah. Work, yeah. So. yeah. And this is the 556 barrel before? Yeah. Yep. And after. Yep. Interesting. And this is probably being used on a 249 saw. And then also what we'll do is obviously we'll cut back like an inch here and an inch there, right? So. Yeah. There's like probably 15 other processes that have to happen before it gets there. Absolutely. And this is right. just the very yep. beginning. Yep. Kind of yeah. Thing. So it starts like this whole process for hammer forging. This military is going to start over here yep. after it runs through of your home, then it's got to go through several other operations to get prepped, yeah, just so it can make it onto the hammer for you, yeah. 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 16 barrels by the look of it, right? Yeah, this is probably for our commercial version because okay. right now we don't have any M16 in production. Now, are all of the butt stocks the same or do you guys have different vari like variations that you can make depending on like- So what really the there's two. Uh, you have the adjustable butt stock, but okay. you also have the fix. And the okay. fix is more of the old style yeah, and yeah. really that's kind of been phased out and everything now is the adjustable. Yeah. Same for the bipod. Previously you had the fixed bipod, but now you have the adjustable bipod as well. Something else to note here is there is a lot of work machine that goes into building the 240. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things that's really unique and cool about it is there's a lot of match fitting going on. 